day and the final day. Oh my gosh. Thank you to everyone who has stuck with me every day. You guys are amazing. It might sound obvious, but this is probably the most powerful thing that you can do. Track how certain things affect your mood. So I actually like have these journals and I just take simple notes like, you know, every every day just of key events that like stick out like, oh, like I went on a walk at this time afterwards I felt, you know, very content or I felt like very aligned or, oh, I had this food and afterwards I felt, you know, really irritable or I had a stomach ache or I didn't feel good. Be so honest with yourself about the way that certain people, certain food, certain activities, certain belief systems, certain mindset, certain clothes, like just start to really pay attention to how do things make you feel. Like, pay attention to the things that are going right. When you think about like, oh, the times that you were happiness in life, maybe there was certain things that you were always eating, or maybe you were listening to a certain type of music, or maybe you were doing a certain daily routine. Pay attention to what brings happiness, what foods bring happiness, what people bring ha brings happiness, what music brings happiness, what reading material brings happiness to you. And every time like you notice something that brings happiness, like literally take out your phone and type it up in your notes section. Like, oh, you know, I was feeling really unhappy and then I took this B vitamin or whatever and actually like within a couple days I started to feel happy again. Or, oh, like I finally, you know, called my Aunt Mary and, you know, I just felt so happy like after talking to her um, or I felt so happy when I stepped out of the shower and then I didn't feel so good, I felt tense, I felt frustrated, but then I felt happy. It's important that you write down the things that result in you feeling happier. In moments where we get down, we can actually forget. We sometimes need to like consult the list and be like, oh yeah, okay, this is, these are things that always make me feel happy. When something happens that uplifts you, telling like your friends and family, that can be good too, because then they'll remind you when you need it. But yeah, walks in nature are huge for me. Um, showers are huge for me. Like I go in <laughs> feeling a certain way, come out feeling better. I'm inside, work stress, whatever, I go outside, walk, look at the nature around me, I feel better. Actually take note of the things that make you feel better. Maybe it's a certain comedy show or something like that and you find, wow, like even just having one sincere laugh makes me feel a lot better. Maybe I subscribe to this comedian on YouTube and I just watch this for a couple minutes every morning. But paying attention to how each thing affects you and being honest, because sometimes we want something to be good for us, but it isn't. When we actually trust our observation, I, I want them to be great for me, they're a loved one, but I am, I am actually quite diminished like every time, you know, after I see them or whatever else. But the more honest that you can be with yourself, like the happier your life will be. So I just encourage everybody who's been watching and following along, start taking note of the things that uplift you, of the things that make you feel a little bit more bright in your outlook or a little bit happier. Have that list for when you need it. And in those moments where life does get difficult, you know, and it is harder to maintain a positive spirit, consult the list, okay? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what helps you to always feel bright and happy in the comments below and come back for more videos very soon. Love and blessings to all of you. Bye!